So we're looking for the third ionization energy of magnesium. Now we know the fourth ionization energy is 10,500. The fifth is 13,629. Now these electrons would have all been from the same energy level and there would have been a gradual increase in ionization. So the difference between 13,629 and 10,500 is going to be 3,129. So there should be a difference between the third and fourth ionization energy of also 3,129. So you're going to do 10,500 minus 3,129 gives 7,331. Now if we do a similar thing for aluminium. Now we see that the third electron is in the same energy level as the first and second. Now the first and second is 736 and 1450. So the difference between them is 717. So there should be a difference between the second ionization energy and the third ionization energy by 717 as well. So it's going to be 1450 plus 717 gives you 2164. Well, the first electron is from the outer shell and therefore the outer energy level has been removed. So we've lost the outer shell. Then as we continue to take more electrons away, we find that the proton to electron ratio increases. So therefore the electrostatic attraction between the nucleus and the electrons increase, pulling the remaining electrons closer to the nucleus.